Hello and welcome to today's vlog on child arrangements order applications. Okay, my name is Farouk Sheikh and I'm the solicitor and principal at FS Law Solicitors located in Chadson, Manchester. I do hope you guys are all doing well. Okay, perhaps you or someone you know um, is um, struggling to uh, arrange on um, uh, uh, contact uh, in an amicable fashion with uh, perhaps uh, your spouse or indeed your partner um, and um, and on that basis you are now thinking what you can now do in order to get contact arranged between you and your child or indeed children. Well the answer to that is first and foremost do you have parental responsibility also known as PR as an abbreviation of course. Um, how do you know if you have parental responsibility and do you need to make an application for parental responsibility before you make an application for contact for a child arrangement order perhaps. Um, the way you can establish that is, is twofold. First and foremost, at the time of conception of the child, were you married to the biological mother? If so, you automatically therefore acquire parental responsibility. Alternatively, in the alternative, um, if you are not married, were you or are you named as the father on the birth certificate or the birth certificate in question for the child or indeed children. If you are, then you uh, have acquired parental responsibility. So let's assume you have parental responsibility. What do you do then? What you need to do is, of course, to um, try to minimise um, legal fees uh, being incurred. Uh, perhaps you could speak to your spouse um, or the partner uh, again to try to resolve matters uh, and to arrange contacts. Uh, if that works, excellent. If it doesn't, you then need to approach a, a mediator, also known as mediation. Uh, uh, so it's mediation, information and assessment meeting. A MIAM is the abbreviation for that. You would need to um, attend a MIAM session uh, with a mediator, of course. That mediator will take details of your spouse stroke partner, will ring uh, and indeed send them a letter to uh, seek their uh, participation in attending a mediation session in relation to contact. If your spouse or indeed partner attends, excellent, an agreement will be drawn up and a, a contact will be duly arranged uh, pursuant to and accordance to the agreement that has been agreed between both respective parties and indeed drafted and drawn up by the mediator. If mediation does not work, what happens then? Well, you then need to make an application to the court for a child arrangement order and you would need to use uh, the certificate given by the mediation officer as part of the application and that will be exhibited to the application to demonstrate to the court that you have fulfilled the prerequisite and requirement to undergo mediation because without mediation uh, normally you cannot make an application to the court for contact um, so unless there's, there's issues of um, perhaps the risk of your child being uh, absconded or removed from the United Kingdom, in which case you can overlook that requirement to make an urgent application without notice to the court. However, let's take the example that that is not applicable. Then you would need to make an application to the court for a child arrangement order and enclose a copy of the certificate to demonstrate to the court that you've sought to undergo mediation, but unfortunately and regretfully that's not worked. Once an application is made to the court, the um, the respondent, namely your spouse stroke, um, uh, the other party, your partner, ex-partner rather, would then have an opportunity to respond and then the matter will then proceed to a first hearing dispute resolution appointment, FEDRA. Um, if the matter can be resolved at the first hearing, fine. If not, then there be maybe multiple um, hearings thereafter, statements, etc. that will need to be obtained uh, for the matter to be resolved. Um, and of course, Ultimately, if it is decided that you should be uh, awarded contact, then contact will be arranged thereafter. I hope that's uh, helped uh, to give you an insight as to the first few preliminary steps to um, undergo in order to seek to arrange contact. Um, should you require any further information or advice or indeed legal rep uh, representation on this matter in question, then please feel free to get in contact with my law firm on one of the following telephone numbers, namely 0161 624 9703, or alternatively, my mobile number directly 07980 67 
0083. And do remember, FS Law Solicitors is located in Chatterton, Manchester. The name you can indeed trust. You take care.